Hello, today for review I've got a really unusual and interesting device. It's a digital tonal converter with headphone amplifier, Focus, made by company S Audio. I reviewed some time ago second version of this device, but time doesn't stand still, and it's the fourth revision. I skipped the third one, but actually fourth one I have to review because it's made in Ukraine and it's made in city Lviv where I'm living now. It, and basically behind the company S Audio stands one talented engineer, his name is Nazar and uh, it's his uh, implementation of his ideas on uh, how to create a digital tonal converter and headphone amplifier uh, in the unusual way. Why I am saying that it's unusual, because you, inside you won't find any famous digital tonal converters or op amps. Uh, actually, I even don't know what uh, DEC and op amp chips used here. Uh, they named some on their website. Actually, I will add website link to the description. You can go and read a lot of technical details if you're interested. But uh, most important part here is digital signal processor that uh, heavily impacts the work of this uh, digital tonal converter. And actually the main idea of uh, creator that with uh, proper digital signal processing it's not that important what uh, digital tonal converter and the amplifier you will use. Of course you need to use uh, some uh, good uh, chips, but the uh, uh, difference between them will be minimized by the digital signal processing. And uh, everything is uh, custom here. Here used custom uh, firmware for the USB interface. Here used custom DS DSP that does uh, all that upsampling and digital filter work. But uh, most important part here is uh, actually a binaural processor. I some time ago I did a video about uh, on uh, how we percept the audio signal and what is the difference between speakers and uh, headphones. If I'll find, I will add links to the description. But actually, the main problem is that when we listen uh, to music with headphones. We uh, don't hear uh, the signals when we listen some audio in real life. Our right ear hears almost the same that left ear, and left ear hears almost the same uh, as a right ear, but with uh, some uh, tiny delay and with a tiny difference in loudness, and that allows us to build uh, that imaginary stage. In headphones, you are you won't get it. Your left ear hears only what uh, goes to the left from the left cup, and right ear hears what going on from the right cup. Many companies uh, try to imitate real-world uh, audio by using uh, cr crossfit technology, uh, adding a bit of sound from left uh, channel to right ear and vice versa, and uh, a bit more complex schemas, but uh, all of them uh, didn't uh, include uh, phase delays and uh, other changes. But uh, in the S Audio, author, author implemented his own vision of that, and be, that's why he says that it's not a crossfeed, it's a binaural processor. And uh, going a bit ahead, uh, indeed, uh, it gives uh, noticeably better results compared to some uh, more naive implementations of crossfeed. I tried some. Uh, I try some software implementation and uh, I try a few uh, hardware implementations, but here definitely you are getting the best one. More about this experience I already shared in my video about Focus 2, but I will elaborate more on that also in this video. Price is $500 and uh, for this price you are getting a pretty universal device, as you can see it's uh, compact, but and it comes without some fancy package, just some bubble wrap to protect it and in the accessory set you'll get just a cord. If you're interested in purchase, maybe I will add link to the official site in the description. And also you can read a lot of useful information there. For this price you're getting a pretty compact digital tonal converter, actually fourth version is slightly bigger, but still compact. Uh, and capable of delivery 4.7 volts RMS, so basically universal even for 
uh, for high impedance models, except a few headphones that are really tough to drive. But uh, actually, I said pretty much everything, so let's have a closer look. As you can see, in terms of design, it's uh, pretty generic, uh, so nice solid metal case. On the back panel you get uh, uh, AC input, USB interface and the uh, line out if you want to use it. You, if you want to use some powerful amplifier for some tough to drive cans, you can use it here. And the creator stated that you can, with special wire, you can uh, connect it to balanced amplifier. They have a schema for, for this connection on their website. It's not balanced output, it's just uh, possibility to connect balanced amplifiers here. Didn't try that actually. And rubber feet on the bottom, they are slightly unleave, unevenly glued, but I've got a pre-production unit, so it's not the f final version. And on the front panel, here is 6.3 mm output for headphones, knob that is pretty smooth in, uh, and rotates nicely with almost zero uh, channel imbalance. And uh, two switches. First one is uh, toggling that binaural on and off. And the second one is switching between three gain levels. Middle and high gain are suited for the full-size headphones and output impedance with them in these modes are close to zero. They are not zero because of impedance of the mute relay and uh, and the uh, socket itself, but they are as close to zero as possible. And in the low gain, uh, impedance is 2.2 ohms uh, to accommodate better sensitive in-ear monitors. And uh, inside implemented a lot of uh, protection circuits and other stuff, so you can be sure in this construction it won't uh, do accident pops or something like that. In, and uh, it connects automatically to Linux, to Mac OS, Android devices, but uh, for Windows you can use uh, drivers. And in general, in terms of design, I can't say that it's kind of super fancy, but it's like neat and uh, well done, uh, solid looking uh, device. And of course about the sound, I will do it in a bit uh, non-traditional way, because I want to make this review more focused. You understand the pun <laughs> intended here. I won't build like a common setup, I do to show that it's kind of working. Believe me, it's working, I spent uh, two weeks with it. But uh, to make everything look fancier, I will put Mazer Lyric on the table, and actually it works uh, pretty fun. So let's uh, first of all talk about the standard mode, ST, uh, without uh, this binaural mode activated. And in general, you know, it's absolutely good uh, transparent digital tonal converter with uh, uh, proper weight distribution, good control all over all frequencies, really universal, and actually punching above this uh, price tire. And when I was reviewing uh, second version of uh, Focus, I said that it's making a slight uh, accent on the micro contrast uh, with the uh, fourth version it's gone. It, it, it just has a good resolution without over accenting micro nuances and details, without uh, being uh, too clinical or analytical. And uh, that means that you're getting better weight distribution and you're getting more natural sound. So let's do it really quick. Bass uh, goes to maximum depth, it's controlled well, taking it uh, some sensitive in ear monitors or some high impedance full size headphones. Uh, bass is absolutely good, uh, fast, with nice rumble, with uh, perfect uh, punch and kick, without any attempts to color anything. So keep in mind, this device doesn't try to add any coloration, so if you used to some additional weight on the low frequencies, or some uh, spiciness uh, by highlighting some micro nuances and overtones, you won't get that. So basically what is recorded, it will play. But at the same time, it won't uh, sound uh, too analytical like some devices that is focused on the micro contrast does. Mids are absolutely uncolored, so basically everything depends on the quality of your records and it makes this device uh, pretty critical for the quality of record, because 
because uh, it's not trying to hide anything or to highlight. Instead, you're getting a pretty good imaginary stage, above average in width and in depth, not huge, but uh, pretty well built with proper layering and uh, with uh, good separation. And uh, nice weight distribution, no, no focus on some aspects like uh, um, dynamics or emotions, but if they are present in records, you get the full amount of them. And the treble, well controlled, good extended, not softened, not uh, spiced, not uh, piercing, not, not highlight, so not uh, colored in any way. If I'd like to go slightly nitpicking, I'd uh, say that I'd like to see slightly better layering in the treble area, but uh, for this price it's still okay, it's slightly above basic, and it sounds airy without any attempts to... Uh, to hide something or to emphasize. So basically in standard mode it's just a clean, detailed, technical uh, digital tonal converter with uh, good amplification that gives a nice control. But uh, when you flick this switch everything changes in a pretty fun way. So stage became uh, more three-dimensional and uh, you're getting uh, more uh, confidence in things that goes not only to left and right, but also forward and backward. Actually, width became slightly less, uh, but depth became more accented and you can definitely position the sources not only left right, but also forward and backward. But of course it works not for every single record, you need a properly recorded uh, uh, tracks and uh, preferably they should be live because uh, for the studio records often during the mastering and mixing uh, uh, sound engineers changing positioning of instruments uh, changing the sound so in these cases of course effect can be different and uh, what else uh, you need to notice you need some usage to this uh, 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 binaural processor because in real life of course sound doesn't behave the way it does with this binaural processor but of course it's not the fault of the device so when, in real life when you turn in your head to left or to right of course uh, uh, sound source stay on its place and if you turn head right uh, your left ear will uh, will hear the sound source better and vice versa. And here with uh, headphones when you're turning your head uh, like that imaginary stage is uh, remains the position relating, related to your head. So you listen to some live records, you turn your head and mu music and musicians moves with your head. So uh, you need uh, a bit of usage but actually it's unavoidable because uh, to solve this problem we need some headphones with motion control. We, there, there were some experiments in this area, but uh, for example, Odyssey Mobius uh, had uh, the sensors, but the implementation of CrossFit was pretty basic, so it didn't give you that good three-dimensional stage. I'd really like to uh, see some uh, mix of uh, uh, headphones with uh, motion sensors and the focus binaural processor but it's really unlikely it will be in some near future. But in general this uh, binaural processor is a really interesting thing to play with because it gives you new layer of music, especially if you have a lot of uh, well recorded and uh, uh, nice live uh, tracks. I don't know, James Brown live at the Apollo, my favorite uh, jazz at the pound shop by Arne Domnerus and other guys and so on. And uh, in terms of uh, Powering in terms of uh, compatibility, I already said that it's good with sensitive in ear monitors and with full size cans, except of some really, uh, really power hungry models. In terms of compressions, it's a noticeable step above uh, uh, above uh, the Focus 2 because here you uh, that binaural processor changes the frequency response in a less noticeable way. It's uh, basically close to being uh, transparent in this aspect, and uh, in uh, terms of uh, overall sound, it's also a bit more mature uh, with less focus on the micro contrast and better weight distribution. 
To summarize this review, if you're looking for some unusual device, if you want to support Ukrainian manufacturer, you can definitely contact S Audio and order Focus. It's definitely a good device with a great price to quality ratio. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and of course have a nice day.